Welcome back to Living Local. As part of our Community Plate series, we're exploring the unique culture and cuisine of the QC restaurant scene. And so today we're checking in with Chef Stu to learn more details about the newest location of Zeke's Island Cafe. Chef Stu, thanks so much for coming in again. Thanks for having us. Let's start here, before we get to the new stuff, why don't you just tell us about Zeke's Island Cafe um, uh, in general, you're, where you're originally located at. Sure. So we actually have quite a kind of odd story. Okay. So we started, if everybody remembers where Planet Fitness is and Fresh Time, there was nothing. There was mm -hmm. just a kind of an empty mall. And in the corner of that parking lot was a little restaurant. And we were in that restaurant for about two years. Um, most people don't remember that, but the original Zeke's people do. And they're the ones that kind of became the Zeke's tribe and they, <laughs> they helped us succeed. We actually had volunteer employees for the first six months. Really? We just really wanted to see that, that work. And our, uh, our fans were always supportive and they just continue to grow. And for the most part, most of our um, uh, growth has to do with uh, word of mouth. So we just owe that to all of our guests and customers who have come in over the years. Absolutely. Now tell me, have you, how, how you have um, expanded since then so far? Sure, we've, we've run into some really fun obstacles which have led to some really great breakthroughs. Some with, fun as obstacles. They do. Yeah, um, they weren't fun at the time on the front side, but on the back side you kind of see kind of what's happening, you know, uh, you see the benefit of it. The struggle is, is a way to grow. And so we, um, uh, the, the, the whole shopping center was sold and then we uh, had an opportunity to move to the hilltop and I know a lot of people are curious um, if we're still there. We actually closed that at the beginning of yet another challenge called the COVID mm -hmm. outbreak. Um, and so we had, we had opened up um, a, an express store in Bettendorf uh, in July of 19. And then in 20, obviously, we had a little issue mm -hmm. where nobody could go to restaurants. Right. Um, and so we unfortunately closed the hilltop area and put all of our resources back into this little tiny restaurant in Bettendorf's Duck Creek Plaza. Um, since then, however, the, the outbreak, another challenge, right? Right. But we've seen some incredible opportunities. Uh, we've been invited into the Figgy Art Museum. I don't know if we've talked about that much, but uh, we run the cafe, and it's a completely different non-Zeke's menu. It's a really fun little city club type menu right. with uh, great burgers and stuff. And most recently now, we are on the other corner of 2nd and Main. We are in the RME, the River Music Experience, where Bad Boys Pizza used to be. We are now in that space, and we'll be opening next Tuesday. Okay. So with these now three locations, what, what kind of ties them all together? Well, I would have to say um, the big thing is where it all started was the people. Um, so it, we still see the same customers. We still see people trying things. People calling us or, or emailing and saying, hey, is Rico's yours? Or hey, is the Hilltop open yet? Right. What, when's that going to open? So we have this great back and forth conversation. Um, and so it's just kind of this uh, community, I guess I would say. Um, that's helping us develop our restaurant's culture. Um, at the same time, you know, we're always fighting for like the healthy products or the freshest products or what can we do a little bit better. And so you'll kind of see that woven through all the different menus. Okay, now as far as the, the newest one, this is the one um, in the RME, right? Yes. Okay, tell me about uh, what, what people can expect at that newest location. Okay, so what we're trying to do, uh, we're trying to reinvent what our hilltop location was where we had a full bar and seating and we had a shark on the wall. I talk about that every time. <laughs> we miss the shark so much. It's like <laughs> our symbol. Uh, so we have it ready to hang up. Um, you can go down there, uh, walk into the RME, check it out, and then come in and grab a drink and grab some tacos. Now our menu is going to be a little bit different. We have different equipment and every time we do that, people are a little bit uh, yeah. shaken because yeah. they're like, well, I can't get this here and I can't get this there. And so I brought a few things and we can talk about kind of how that works. Yes, let's do that. We've got four different things here. At least there's four plates, I see. Uh, yeah, do you want to, which, which end do you want to start at and show um, me what we got? Well, let's start, let's we'll start or with in the, the figgy. middle. Let's yeah. start with the figgy in the middle and work okay. our way out. So the figgy, like I said, um, we do have a neo postmodern Polynesian grilled chicken breast dish on there. Okay. Which is very kind, sophisticated. Kind, it's just fun. <laughs> it's fun to say every time. I'm sure my servers are like, why? <laughs> um, but 
it's, it does have a little bit of that island flair in one of our dishes, but for the most part, this is our black and blue beef, okay? So the black is black pepper, cracked black pepper, and then blue cheese and a sauce with onions and mushrooms and uh, fresh ground chuck roast. Mm -hmm. And then it comes with rice and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we have four different bistro bowls. This is one of our bistro okay. bowls. We have a few different sandwiches that are really nice, and then we have a few different um, uh, salads that go with these. Okay. So. Excellent. So that's that. And then the rest of this you'll kind of see is kind of our islandy food. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll jump down here. So this is what you're going to see at the Bettendorf store only. Okay. You're not going to be able to find that anywhere else. So our coconut shrimp and our crab cakes, um, they made it from the hilltop to Bettendorf. To Bettendorf. Um, and that's where they're going to stay. They won't make it downtown. We Just, have some okay. other things in mind for downtown. Okay. So for everything we're taking off the menu, we're going to replace it with something, something new or fun. Cool. Okay? And then we have our Rico's. I think uh, the, the taco flight speaks for itself. It's four different meats. That's our whole thing. It, you try the meat. It's Latin Caribbean flavors, uh, mojo chicken, and our own fresh chorizo, uh, ropa vieja, and our carnita sofrito. So that I know we've talked about, but you can never say oh, taco yeah. flight too many times. Taco flight. But it's got me option. inspired. Okay, mm -hmm. so here's my taco flight there. And this then. isn't actually a meal, but I thought about it. Maybe it should be, but this is like a <laughs> monster, right? <laughs> so at our new location, we are starting a new thing. So we've got summer coming, mm -hmm. and we've tried this before in little spurts, but what we're going to do is we're reinventing the taco salad. So this is, the salad is the meat. So we have crab okay. salad, we have Caribbean chicken salad, we have our ahi poke, which is raw poke, uh -huh. And then we have the ahi as well, uh, grilled rare. And so you can get an order of these tacos um, all summer long. And we will, the, the pokey is something that we used to run on Fridays. And people have asked, when are we going to run it? Well, we're not just going to run it on Fridays. We're going to run this every day throughout the summer, along with these other three amazing cold dishes. And then we have the beef adobo people have been begging for. It's going to come back on there. And one day a week, we're going to do our Cubano sandwiches, which has been the number one request. But it takes a whole person. So we have to hire somebody in oh. on that day just to make those sandwiches. So that's our big plan. And we're hoping it's going to be a great summer. A lot of types of food and more places to go now to get it. Exactly. Chef Stu, thanks so much for coming in again, showing us all the food, talking to us about all of Zeke's different uh, locations now with the newest one opening. When is that? Is that Next soon? Tuesday. Next Tuesday. That's right. The 15th. Perfect. All right. Now, if you would like for more information on Chef Stu's new location, what he has to offer on his menu, go to Zeke'sIslandCafe.com. We'll also have those details posted on our website, too. Of course, that's ourquadcities.com.